On a drill ship in the eastern Mediterranean, we witnessed what a warlike situation looks like in the waters and how would Turkish Navy and Air Forces react to it. Turkey simultaneously conducted this large-scale exercise, the Blue Homeland 2022, in the Aegean, the Mediterranean and the Black Seas. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan joined the last day of the Blue Homeland exercise via video link highlighting the Turkish Navy's key role in managing crises in the region. We have gained the appreciation of the world with our humanitarian rescue and aid operations in the regions with crises from Ukraine to Libya and from Africa to Central Asia. More than 120 warships, 41 aircrafts, including 14 Turkish-made armed drones and 12,000 military personnel took part in the exercise. The drill was also observed by 15 countries, including the United States, Australia, Japan and Pakistan. The newly developed Turkish-made Aksungur weaponized drone made its debut during the last phase of the drill. Turkish underwater defense teams, called the SAS, were also deployed. They are the same force who detected and defused a stray mine in the Bosphorus right after Russia issued Black Sea warnings back in March. The Blue Homeland exercise came at a time when the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has put a spotlight on NATO and its response to Russia's attacks. The Turkish military is the second largest armed forces in NATO after the United States and drills like Blue Homeland are to ensure that Turkey is ready at a moment's notice to deploy its ships anywhere if the conflicts currently in the region escalate further. Kübra Akoç, TRT World, Marmaris, Muğla.